Most people know Viola Desmond as a Canadian civil rights icon who stood up against racism back in 1946. But what you may not know is that she was also a very successful entrepreneur, something that was practically unheard of for a black woman of her day. But then, Viola Desmond was always ahead of her time. She was born in Halifax on July 6, 1914, and you might say she had business in her blood. Her maternal grandfather ran a successful real estate investment company. Her mother was very well educated and also possessed sharp business skills. All of this had a major impact on Viola's life. In 1932, after graduating high school, Viola started teaching at segregated black schools in the area. It was around this time that she read an article about Madam C.J. Walker. In the early 1900s, Walker started a successful beauty and cosmetics business for black women in the U.S. Viola was determined to do the same for black women in Canada. So in 1936, she left her teaching job and enrolled in the School of Hairdressing in Montreal. A year later, she was back home where at the age of 23, she opened her first beauty salon in the heart of Halifax's theater district. But this was only the beginning of her entrepreneurial journey. In 1945, she started the Desmond School of Beauty so she could train and empower other black women to start their own businesses. Viola also launched her own line of beauty products, which she marketed using a picture of her face on the label. And it was this entrepreneurial move that eventually led to her famous stand against racism. In 1946, Desmond was on a business trip promoting her beauty products when her car broke down in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. While waiting for a car to be repaired, she decided to take in a movie at a nearby theater. When Viola Desmond stood up for her rights and refused to move to the Blacks Only section in the movie theater, the police were called and she was arrested and put in jail. Today, Desmond's infamous stand against racism in that theater and in the trials that followed has made her a legend in Canada. But at the time, it had a serious impact on her life. Viola never fully recovered from what happened that night in New Glasgow. She ended up closing her business and moving to Montreal, where she enrolled in business college. She eventually settled in New York, where she died on February 7, 1965, at the age of 50. Viola Desmond was a proud and extremely successful teacher, anti-racist activist, and businesswoman. Fittingly, in 2018, she also became the first Canadian-born woman to appear alone on a Canadian banknote.